But it's just these, they just radiate, both of them sort of radiate the spirit of fighting, really, don't they? And they, th these are the kind of guys that drew me into the sport in the first place. And, you know, th that's why I'm involved in the sport, you know, mm. fights like this. They're tough, they're skilled, they're gamers, gamers can be, really. Um, they're not, obviously, they're not at their peak. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not stupid, but they're both. They're both not. They're both peak. not at their peak, <laughs> and they might not be at their peak physically. But there is something about spending time on this planet, and what age gives you, and what experience gives you, that doesn't necessarily mean that being older is worse. Mm. Do you know what I mean? There's, yeah. um, I would suggest potentially they're mentally they're in better places, and they understand the sport and how how to interact with each other better than they would have ever done. Now they might be able to execute at the speed that that they used to be able to do it at, but like you say, they're both you know they're, they're both probably dropped off the physical the physical peak. Yeah. Um, Nick's Nick's been stopped once by Doctor Stoppage, right? Yeah, cuts. And that's it. Mm. Never been, never been. And KJ Noons, KJ Noons, and Jeremy Jackson finished him, didn't they? Yeah. But what the was the. The KJ Noons ones were, was a cut though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's basically never, he's impossible never been, to finish. He's never been starched. I don't think he's ever been subbed either. What did Jeremy Jackson catch him with? I thought he armbarred Jeremy Jackson. Yeah, he did. So, you know, okay. Yeah, you know, he lost the first one on the California region and then beat yeah. him twice since. Right. Stopped him both times. So he's, he's basically impossible to finish. Yeah. Unless yeah. you open him up. Uh-huh. Um, and, and Triangle choke in his very first pro fight against a guy called Mike Wick. Oh, wow. Who's the brother of John Wick? So you know, kind of <laughs> elite assassin. <laughs> yeah, beat Chris Lytle by split decision in his second pro fight as well. It's, yeah, up, honestly, it's is. mad. You go back through Nick Diaz's record yeah, and crazy. you read the names on it because name after name after name, and yeah. they're names from a generation of, of of fighters that now are no longer around. Yeah, you know, like like Hayato Sakurai. <laughs> yeah, you know Scott Smith, Frank Shamrock, Thomas Denny. You remember Wild Man Thomas Denny with the crazy hair? You know. Like obviously, about Josh yeah. Near, the dentist, Sean Shirk, Joe Riggs. He's still about transcended. He's just transcended for sure. Tran yeah, yeah. A generation. Is it, do you reckon that's two generations? Is that? I think it's more than that. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a couple I'd say of that, like. I'd say Nate was the generation after. Yeah, but then he's he's only just really started to come into his own yeah, in the true. last few years. True. So Lawler, if Lawler loses, is usually by sub or decision, right? I don't. Has Lola been? Has Lola been stopped? I mean, I you know, he got stopped, he got yeah. subbed by what's his name, um, Askren, but I don't I don't count that. No, <laughs> no. I mean, he got he got knocked out by Woodley, didn't he? Um, yeah. The the bulldog choke. Yeah, I don't I don't count that. No, that so was it's just a, odd. It's so it was a decision loss to Magny to Covington, decision loss to RDA, uh, decision loss to Hendricks and to Larkin. Um, oh, he lost to Jacare by Rene Kachok. Yeah, but enough. that was also at middleweight. A guillotine to Jake Shields. Jake Shields. So, there's, yeah, so there's... there's Evan uh, Tanner triangle choke. I mean, I think his sub-defense sub is better now. It, yeah. you know, his sub-defense is definitely better now. I, I just... I don't know. I mean... They're going to stand up, right? The point in They're which... They're just going to stand up across from each so. other. The point in which Robbie Lawler ends up in a submission is when he decides he's taking the fight to the floor. Yeah. And I just don't think Nick's going to come out and waste energy. I mean, one thing that you, you can say about Robbie Lawler is, is he's always in good physical shape. Yeah. I, I know he's taken some some beatings and I'm, like we think of the split lip against Rory McDonald and stuff, but he, he doesn't look... Like worse for wear, he looks like he's built for fighting in the first place. Yeah, like he's got the he's got the right kind of head shape and yeah. like brow Traps line and, and chin and, and yeah, yeah, he's just built bones. Yeah, yeah, he, he's built like he, he's constructed for combat for sure. Nick, although he's not had a fight in a long time, took so much beatings, mm -hmm. so many beatings in his earlier career. Even fights that he won, he came out as a, in a bloody mess. Just a mess. And part of his game is to waterboard you until you crack. Yeah. But a part of that process of him waterboarding you is that he's going to get wet himself, and mm -hmm. he and he does. You know, I mean, he gets beat like Paul Daly. Paul Daly had him almost out with a couple of shots, and then he was able to turn that around against Paul Daly. He got that Man. win, but he also took a couple of shots in the process. Yeah. Like Takanori Gomi. I mean, I know it was a no contest, but. He took a hell of a beating, yeah. walking him down to get his hands on him. That's the that's the problem. Is that Nick has to Nick has to throw forty shots to have an impact on you, 
whereas Robbie Lawler can catch you with yeah, one clean. One. I mean, you saw the, the the clip of the Manhoff, eyes down, fuck, I'm losing this fight, Dink. boom, and he's just yeah. Matt Lindlin, same thing, you know. Man, I don't know, I don't know which way to go. I feel I feel like that sways it. That concept sways it. This they ain't gonna, you know, they're probably not gonna wrestle each other. They're probably not going on the floor. Nick's gonna have to throw five hundred punches, and Robbie's gonna have to throw about four to actually, yeah. you know, to to do some damage. But Nick. Nick doesn't get put away like that very often, does he? This is it. We never, then, never gets put away no. like that. But then, it, but then that this is why he's an unknown commodity. Because even though Robbie's coming off four losses, I know what he looks like in 2020. Yeah, I know what he looks like in a fight in 2020 and 2019. I know. I I just don't know what Nick's been doing. Like, is if, if he's been running triathlons or he's been getting on the piss or... Oh, he spent know, a lot of it. time on the piss, that's for yeah. sure. Like, like yeah, there was a whole point where his, his Instagram was just him in Vegas with a drink in his hand, yeah. you know. I saw him at one of the shows once, you know, because um, I've, I've never really never really had a proper conversation with him. But we've had, a, like, there was, um, after the GSP fight, I as soon as he'd, as soon as the fight was over... I went through the gates and backstage to leave the building and he went out the other exit and we passed backstage. Yeah. And like, as he's walking towards me, he's like, he's talking about the fight and he's talking about, he remembers when I fought him and I just kept moving. So he was never able to really land a clean shot. And, but it was like a passing conversation that we were having as we were walking towards <laughs> one another. And then we just kind of like acknowledged and just passed by and that was it. Yeah. Right. And then um, he was at the bar in Vegas for, I think McGregor Khabib. And uh, we were like both standing, like just watching the fights above and everyone was at the bars watching over the side and stuff. And we just kind of just made eye contact and then looked back up at the fights. And then it, again, he just went. I'm like. <laughs> That's sick. Nice one, Nick. <laughs> That's fucking cool. <laughs> That's a fucking cool story. He's a funny dude, man. I can't yeah. wait to see him back. Yeah, man. I just, I, and I'm, I'm thankful for the UFC matching him correctly. Yeah, yeah, right. fuck yeah! Really you want him in there with some fucking twenty-eight-year-old? You know what I mean? Chimayev yeah, no way. That's, no way. That was my concern of him coming back. This is a really well-matched fight. Yeah, it's wicked. And there's the not many of, this... many of these left. There's not many of these. Well, we just lost Condit. Left in Condit's it, yeah. gone. You know, yeah. Matt Brown's the, the other one that's uh... in this group here. Like you see, Matt yeah. Brown fight the winner of this for sure. You know? Yeah. But Condit, Condit's the one that should have got the winner of this fight. Yeah. Or me. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know who to pick. I don't. I don't. I, I don't really care who wins it. I don't, both, it's wicked. I just can't I'm, wait I'm glad to it's watch happening. It. I'm glad they've matched it how they've matched it. I'm yeah. glad these two are fighting again. Can we drop a little fence into this one, Jim? Yeah. And just stamp us both <laughs> on the fence. Yeah. Square on the fence. Yeah. I just. My only concern is that I don't know anything about Nick. If I was no. betting, I'd be. I'd be backing Robbie Lawler because I've. I've seen him. Even if he's losing, Recently. I've seen him in good shape yeah. over rounds. Yeah. And we all we also know that it, it's power versus volume. I wonder how much like head trauma Nick's took in the last three or four years, though. Do you know what I mean? Like he, yeah, probably just from alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, internally rather yeah. than externally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, depends how hard he was slamming them tequilas. Yeah, yeah right, all right. No, I can't no wait pick. for it. No pick. No pick. But I can't wait I'm going to enjoy it. it a lot. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Right. 